with Apollo program, we're almost there. Now, we have to build a spaceship, launch it, and survive until it arrives at Alpha Centauri. With AD Shield production, the uh, structurals get completed once every turn. As I research the rest of the necessary technologies for a spaceship. Now, the ordinary spaceship for the One City Challenge is a spaceship with one of each component, 15 structurals, and, oh, sorry, one of each module, like one habitation, uh, energy, and life support. Uh, three of each uh, propulsion component, so like three fuel and uh, three engines, or whatever they're called. And uh, 15 structurals. Building a spaceship larger than that will actually delay your arrival because you need to add additional structural components and that uh, doesn't compensate for the amount of extra like the uh, the time you save getting there isn't worth it occasionally if you've done really well and you still you're still getting multiple uh, year jumps you may want to launch a spaceship with fewer components because if you want to have an earlier arrival date. I think that's more applicable if you're playing early landing as opposed to uh, one city challenge. We're doing great, General, and we got you to thank for it. You're Einstein, sir. I mean, you are the E to the MC squared, like a clock speed double microchip, sir. We're number one in science! Let's do lunch, sir. All is well, sir. Quite bullish. Let us build embassies, sir, so that we possess a base of operations in the cities of our enemies. I don't mean to be stepping on your blue suede shoes, sir. But a land without luxuries is like a hound dog without a bone. It's not happy. I disagree, sir. I disagree, sir. Yeah, so I researched stealth so that I could build some stealth fighters after every after the spaceship is complete for defense. Those stealth fighters are pretty nice. But I didn't bother using the full science because I figured I'm in no hurry and uh, could do some money. There, I'm completed the structurals. Now, uh, unfortunately, you can't actually uh, ca make caravans contribute directly to the spaceship building. On the other hand, you can switch between wonders and spaceships without losing 50%. So, you know, as long as there's still an unbuilt wonder of the world, you can switch between, you can add caravans to your spaceship. In the One City Challenge, that usually happens, because you're only building a few wonders, so the AI doesn't usually get up. Yeah, and there I forgot to uh, 
rush the uh, one, like, make sure that the component or module was complete was uh, completed. I think I do that another time with a component. So you know, lose a couple years on my date doesn't really matter. I'll attribute it to the fact that I was doing a video, so wasn't paying close enough attention. It was in the interest of speed. Ah, so the Romans declare war on me after I refuse to give them a thousand gold. It's not surprising. People will usually turn against you at this time, especially after you launch a spaceship. So you kind of want to avoid talking to people, which is pretty much what I did. Or I guess will do. Yeah, so, you know, I'm selling off my science improvements because I don't really need them anymore. Yeah, so I bribed the cannon there just to have a little extra firepower. I have money now, or at least a little bit of it, and not much to use it on. So that was the last part of my spaceship. I'm going to build an airport now so that uh, I can produce veteran self fighters. So, momentarily, I will launch the spaceship. Yeah, so the uh, the main purpose of the freight there is to sort of make it difficult for the uh, enemy diplomats to go and steal my technologies.
Yeah, there I started on mech infantry because it's a nice defensive unit. And I noticed all those diplomats there, presumably trying to get to Berlin. This is nice uh, space music here. Sets the mood. So I just went and started pillaging that square to make it difficult for Roman units to get to me. Not that they were really giving me much trouble. Now the irony of the whole thing is that it was about at this point that I was starting to, starting to get surprised that the whole lackluster campaign that the AI was waging. I mean, it's not a, the, the uh, computer isn't a great great strategist, but uh, on the other hand, I expected more than this. So now that I uh, commissioned the spy, I want to actually go and investigate these cities. To you know, get an idea of what was going on, and what was in them, and so I rebuilt the road that I had just destroyed. This also surprised me: the Romans making peace. Point team at objective, waiting for orders to move out. My theory on the whole uh, lackluster campaign is that the computer was focused more on stealing technologies, like you'd seen all those diplomats. Like, uh, a little while ago, we saw about uh, at least four, probably more, diplo Indian diplomats outside Bangalore. And so, uh, that's my, my guess is that they were the AI was focused on stealing technologies from you, instead of actually waging war.
well thank you for watching